Good morning, Warrior Nation. Welcome to another wonderful day. Today is Tuesday, January the 31st. We have a lot of announcements today, so let's go ahead and get it kicked off with our student leaders. Starting right now. So there will be a boys soccer meeting for a, a tournament in our league that we're doing. Um, uh, men's league, uh, we have limited spots available, so uh, first come, first serve, it's cost money bit, so you heard today. Uh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, meeting tomorrow. Graham's room. Graham's room tomorrow after school? Yeah. Okay. You know what it is, clubs club. Today after school at 3.15, Senor Burke's room. Uh, we're gonna do uh, conspiracy clubs. So you know, like jet fuel can't melt uh, steel is, I think there's one. Uh, uh, there were two shooters in the JFK assassination, stuff like that. The moon landing was staged. Yeah, actually it's kind of. Actually two, two, two. Next. Not really. <laughs> um, class and peril order forms are due on Friday. Oh, and as you, a lot of you saw, there's, um, we're selling coffee in the foyer um, for us this, this week, and tomorrow we're doing iced coffee. Um, uh, come guests for the candy jar, it's 50 cents per guest or five guesses for $2. If you get closest, then you get the jar of candy. Um, we'll have a bake sale in the main foyer tomorrow after school. Um, so you should come buy some treats. Yeah, and candy jar winners will be announced Monday. Um, okay, so we're starting embroidery club tomorrow um, after school. Uh, in room 237, so if you like some needlework you want to come work on, you know, come do it with us. Yeah, it's a thing. <laughs> yep. okay. um, sophomores, juniors, and seniors, check your email if you're interested in participating in that study with you and I. Uh, Amnesty will be having a meeting tomorrow after school. We're going to be deciding which uh, charity to, uh, to benefit for Amnesty. So come if you want to help us decide. The snow might have melted and the temperature might be a little bit up, but winter's not over. So make sure you're staying hydrated and keep a positive attitude. Have a good day. WLP is meeting after school today in Mr. Dewar's room 232. New members are always welcome, so come check it out. And Mr. Washington, if you are a senior and you are a boy, please come apply. If you need an application, come to Betsy or I. We have a ton of them. And also Ms. Derek's room in 119. And then also if you do have an application and you can turn it in, bring it to one of us. Or Ms. Derek's room 119, they're due February 14th. Thank you. Thanks. All right. Hey, guys. I'm, I'm joined here today with some very special guests here today. Uh, we have Sean Blommers and we have Adam Todd. Uh, these gentlemen competed last Saturday in a in the Special Olympics basketball competition. It was a skills competition uh, held right at North uh, Northwest Rec Center here in Cedar Rapids. And uh, Sean came in second place in the skills competition, and then Adam came in first place in the competition. Now, because Adam came in first place, he's now moving on to the state basketball skills competition that'll be in Iowa City uh, next uh, in March. In March. So uh, congratulations to Sean and Adam. When you see them around school, give them big hands up and uh, high five on that. Congratulations again. Good job. Good job. Good job, Adam. Very, very proud. The Warriors swim team uh, continued their postseason success Saturday by winning the freshman and sophomore super meet in Cedar Falls by six points over Iowa City West. The Warriors were led by event winners Jeremy Thronson, and the 200 free and James Breitbart in the 50 free. Runner-up performances were also turned in by Thronson in the 500 free, the 200 free relay, and Ethan Ford, James Breitbart, Gabe Greco, and Thronson. Um, and the 400 free relay team of Ford, um, of Ford, Zach, Coker, Greco, and Thronson. Outstanding performances also turned in, were turned in by Roy Boswick, Gabe Greco, Jake Camerlin, Isaac Tweetball, Tweetball, and Jack Bickle. Uh, so great job, swim team. We're looking forward to a great, great postseason performance from you guys. Warriors varsity men's basketball uh, had a, another short loss, a very uh, uh, a loss yesterday. It was very, very close. Uh, the score was 54 to 60 against Xavier. Uh, Colin Westmoreland had 17 points, 
Seven or eight of them came from the free throw line. He had two rebounds and two steals. Uh, Luke Johnson uh, had nine points, four rebounds, and two, two assists. Uh, Drew had five points, three rebounds, one assist, and one steal. Donovan pulled up, pulled in 11 points, pulled down six rebounds, and had three blocked shots. And then Max Campbell had 12 points, two rebounds, and one blocked shot. Uh, these guys keep working hard every night. They come to practice and work hard as a team. And they keep coming up just slightly short. But you know what? It's going to turn around because we see how hard these guys are working out there on the court. We see you guys. We're very proud of you. Uh, in a small but competitive field with the foreshadow, with foreshadow contenders for the state debate title this spring, the Washington Varsity debate, debaters Jake Sanders and Seamus Thompson finished second overall at the City High Classic Debate Tournament, which was held in Iowa City this past weekend. Uh, Jake and Seamus compiled an impressive 4-1 an impressive preliminary record and took a single loss to a strong Iowa City West team. Jake was also recognized as third place individual speaker. Uh, congratulations to both of these debate speakers from, from last weekend. Teachers and students be reminded that today we're going to have a short homeroom after, after, at Warrior Time, uh, which will be at the end of sixth period. Uh, we're going to be going there for transcript reading. Materials for teachers should be in your mailboxes, and information regarding this will be forthcoming from Ms. Byers. Uh, she and Ms. Wasaba will be on the announcements today at that time on your smart boards, so make sure you have everything ready to go at the beginning of Warrior Time. We're going to go through transcripts um, and do that for students today. Uh, math team will be meeting in room 148 uh, today after school. Study table, remember, is every Monday through Thursday in room 118B after school. And any baseball player that will be playing this upcoming season need to sign up in Coach Bruni's room. That's room 245 by this, I'm sorry, it's actually by this Friday, the 27th. Uh, so please make sure you see Coach Bruni as soon as possible. Happy birthdays today to Nabria Rami, uh, Keon Allen Smith, and Elizabeth Yancey. Happy birthday to you guys. Today's events, we have our, at 5.30 p.m., we have the sophomore education planning today. That's going to be in the cafeteria, so please make sure you're here. Uh, for the sophomore education plan. That's for your current freshmen. Make sure you're out here for that. 6 o'clock tonight, we have our basketball game. That's our sophomore boys. They'll be playing at Dubuque Wallet. Uh, that's at Dubuque Wallet Catholic School. And then 7.30, our boys watching team will be there as well for that competition. Lunch today is macaroni and cheese, green beans, chicken patty on bun, fruit parfait, pick two chef salad, Spud bowl with biscuit and a sub sandwich and also a specialty pizza. I believe we're also selling the one dollar ice creams are still being sold there as well. Hey guys, keep loving and supporting each other each and every day. Um, I love you. I know you love each other. Remember, it's always a great day to be a warrior.